students welcome back to our channel to all the solutions to your problems this time with divya today in this video we will solve the back exercise of chapter 12 of ncert class 8 that is components and power so starting with the first question which says evaluate so the first part is 3 power minus 2 so by solving this we have to apply one formula that is a minus m equals to 1 upon a power m therefore this minus 2 will turn into plus 2 when we have to apply 3 as a denominator so 3 power 2 that is 3 into 3 equals to 9 so the answer is 1 by 9 coming to a second part which says minus 4 power minus 2 So the answer is one upon minus four power two. That is applying this again formula, we get one upon sixteen. Moving to a third part, which says one upon two power minus five. So one upon two power minus five means two by one power five. So by solving again this formula, we can get thirty-two. That is two into two into two into two into two. So we get thirty five. Moving to our second question, which says simplify and express the result in power notation with positive exponents. So the first part is minus four power five divided by minus four power eight. So by taking minus four common, we have to apply one formula that is a power m divided by a power n equals to a m minus n. That is, we have to take minus four common, and we have to minus five minus eight, so we get minus three. So minus four power minus three, we can write it as one by minus four power positive three. Moving to our second part, which says one by two, two ki power three ka whole power two. That is, one upon two. Three to the six. It means one upon two power six. Moving to our third part, which says minus three power four into five by three power four. Now we have to apply one formula that is a upon b whole power m equals to a power m divided by b power n. So applying this formula, we get minus one. Power four multiply by three power four into five upon three power four. So by solving this, we get three power four minus four. This three four minus four and into five power four. So four minus four we get zero, and four as it is we have to write. So three. Into zero, like we have to apply the formula a ki pa a power zero equals to one. We have this formula, so this is one into five power four. We get the answer as five power four. Moving to our fourth part, which says three power minus seven divided by three power minus ten into three power minus five. So by solving this again, putting the same formula a. Power m divided by a power n equals to a m minus n. So apply, applying this formula, found the answer that is one upon three power two. Moving to our fifth part, that is two power minus three multiply minus seven power minus three. So by solving this, we get one upon two power three. This into One upon minus seven power three. Again, solving this, we get one upon two into minus seven power whole three. Taking this common, so by solving this, we get an answer that is one upon minus fourteen power three. That is to seven to the fourteen three is a common. Moving to our third question, which says find the value of Part one says three power zero plus four minus one into two power two. So by solving this, by applying the formula a power m minus m equals to a m. That is 
a zero is one. We know this. So three zero that is equals to one. Four minus one. Four power minus one means one point four into two power two. Now taking the LCM, we get four four plus one into two power two. Adding this four plus one is equals to five by four into two power two. Solving this, we get answer five. Moving to our second part, which says two power minus one into four power minus one divided by two in power minus two. Again, applying the same formula, a minus m equals to one upon a power m. Applying this, we can easily solve it. One upon two into one upon two power two divided by two minus two power equals to one upon two power three divided by two power minus two. So by solving this, we have another formula that is a power m multiplied by a power n equals to a m plus n, as we have done in a power m divided by a power n. Equals to a m minus n. Now here we have multiply this and plus this, so it can be easily solved. And our answer can be one by two. Moving to our third part, which says half power two plus one third power minus two plus one fourth power minus two. So by solving again this as the same formula, we can apply. Our answer will be twenty nine. Moving to our fourth part, which says three power minus one plus four power minus one plus five power minus one का whole power zero. So by making these minus one into positive one, we can do as a minus m equals to one by a minus m. So by solving as three one by three, four as one by four, five as one by five, our one will be positive. Moving forward, taking an LCM, we get sixty. Solving this simply, we can get answer one. Moving to our fifth part, which says minus two by three ki power minus two ka whole power two. That is again applying the formula a m ka whole power n equals to a m into n. So by solving this easily, we can get an answer eighty one upon sixteen. Moving to our fourth portion, which says evaluate. So part one says eight power minus one into five power three divided by two minus power four. So the answer is eight power minus one into five power three divided by two power minus four is two power three ka whole power minus one into five power three divided by two power minus four. That is. By solving again, by applying this formula, we get two minus three power minus whole minus four into five power three. That is equals to two minus three plus four power into five power three. So by solving this, we get answer as two fifty. Moving to our second part, which says five power minus one into two power minus one into six power minus one. Again, it's a easier sum as minus will change when we will put denominator as a a. So one by five, one by two into one by six. Solving it, we can get one by sixty. Moving to our fifth question, which says find the value of m for which part one is five power m divided by five minus three power equals to five power five. What we can do is Taking five as common, m again divide is there, so we have to minus my m minus minus three. This one equals to five power five. Then minus plus minus we get plus. So m plus three is equal to five power five. Now comparing components as on the both sides, we get m plus three is equal to five. So this will be our equation. We can solve this easily. That is five. My plus three is here. After going to right hand side, it will become minus three. So m is equal to two. Moving to our sixth question, which says evaluate. 
So the first part is 1 by 3 power minus 1 minus 1 by 4 whole power minus 1 whole power minus 1. So the same method is applied here also that is a minus m equals to 1 upon a m. Again putting the same formula taking these minus into positive ones how we can do is 3 by 1 4 by 1. Again we will get the answer minus 1. Moving to our second part which says 5 by 8 ka whole power minus 7 into 8 by 5 whole power minus 4. Solving this, applying the same formula a upon b whole power m that is equals to a power m divided by b power m. Applying the same method here 5 power minus 7, 8 power minus 7 multiply by 8 power minus 4, 5 power minus 4 like this. Now solving them like 5 as if common. 8 as if common. Easily we can solve it and our answer will be 512 divided by 125. Moving to our seventh question which says simplify. So the first part is 25 into t power 4 divided by 5 power minus 3 into 10 into t power minus 8. Here t is not equal to 0. So how we have to solve 5 power 2 as we can write 25, 5 power 2, that is 5 into 5. So we can write 25 as 5 power 2 into t4. Similarly, divided by 5 power minus 3 into 5 into 2 into t power minus 8. And 10, how we can write 2, 5. Or 5, 2, the 1 and the same thing. Solving this equation... We can easily find the answer that is 625 divided by 2 t power 4. Moving to our second part which says 3 power minus 5 into 10 power minus 5 into 125 divided by 5 power minus 7 into 6 power minus 5. So solving this as if 3 power minus 5 into how we can write 10? 2 into 5 that is this into 5 power 3. That is 5 into 5 into 5. 5 5 is a 25. 25 5 is a 125. We can write as 125 as a 5 power 3. Similarly, we can solve this as if we can get the answer 3 1 2 5. With this last question, we have completed our exercise. If in case of any doubt in any of the question discussed above, please put your query in the comment section below. Till then, take care and bye bye. Uh, uh, uh. Oh,